Hey guys, and welcome to this guitar domination video. I'm Dan Thorpe. We're going to do Smokehouse Blues. This is a little piece, a little fun piece I've created for my students just to get them playing some fingerstyle blues pretty quick and have a bit of fun. Blues is tricky uh, for a lot of people, fingerstyle blues is very tricky for a lot of people. Now, most people either play too simple and it's boring or too complex and it's way too hard. This, I think, is a nice middle ground. Right, let's begin. Three chords. E7, A7, B7. Okay. Now, E7, you can play one of two ways. Easy way, where you've got middle finger, second fret, A string. Index finger, first fret, G string. Everything else is open. Now that's alright, doesn't sound bad, but I like this way, next way better. Add in your ring finger on the second fret, D string, and pinky. 3rd fret, B string. It's a bit more oomph, got a bit more about it. That's what I prefer for this, but if you can't play that way, go with the easy way, that's fine. Okay, so two ways of playing E7 now. A7, again, multiple ways of playing it. You can play it with open A string, 2nd fret, D string, open G string, 2nd fret, B string, and an open IE. The other way is cool, but I like to add on Pinky on the third fret high here. Again, just brings out that seventh flavour. Gives it a bit more oomph about it again. That's my favourite word of the day, oomph, by the way, apparently. <laughs> okay, so that's A7. And then your third chord, B7, you can play in the standard way. So, index, uh, middle finger, second fret, A string. Index finger, first fret, D string. Ring finger, second fret, G. Open B and pinky second fret high E. Tricky chord that for a lot of beginners, but you know, you will get better at it, I guarantee. Okay, so you got E7, A7, and then we go back to E7, then with B7, A7, and then E7. That's your standard 12 bar blues sequence, and I'll take you through that all in a sec. So it's basically your one, four, one, your one is your E, your four is your A, you go back to the one, to the E, one, four, one, then you got five, four, one. Your five's the B7, your four is the A7, and your one's the E7. So one, four, one, five, four, one is your sequence. Okay, we'll go through how many times you play each one in a sec. If you know your standard 12 bar blues, then that's all fine, you won't worry about that. Two little riffs we're going to throw in, all pentatonic based riffs, E minor pentatonic. Okay, first riff, whenever we play the E chord, is going to be 3rd fret, low E string, open, low E string, open A string, hammer on 2nd fret A string, D string. So you've got 5 flux, 5 notes, sorry. Third fret G, open D, open A, hammer on to B, same string, open D. Take your time with that. So two plucks on the low E string, it's third fret to open, one pluck on the A string, then you're going to hammer it on. Snap that middle finger down, the second fret, and then once you've done that, plug your open D. That's your riff for the one chord, the E7. So whenever you play the E7, you're going to go bass, loud strum down, then riff. Bass, strum. Once you do your down strum, you can add a passing up strum on the way back, so you can go bass, down, up, if you want. But the down strum needs to be given an accent, a little bit more oomph. And that's how you play your E7s, so nice and slow. Okay, 
pretty simple, but you've got to just separate them off first. So you've got to do the chord bass part, the E7. Get comfortable with that, and then you've got to do your riff bass. And then put them together fluently, so it takes time and it takes a bit of effort and thought. Because you are essentially combining rhythm and lead ideas really here, and that's what a lot of fingerstyle blues is. Don't forget we're doing this on quite a basic level, but that doesn't mean it don't sound good, because I think it sounds really cool. But I would say that. <laughs> okay, it's not an original piece. Like I say, it's not overly original piece. It is an original piece, but um, I created it myself, but it, you know, it's very typical. It sounds like quite a few other things, but this is aimed at just getting any beginner um, playing some fingerstyle blues. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna play the A chord and it's gonna be A7, like I showed you. So pluck the open A string, strum down, strum up, make sure that down's got a bit of an accent. Then the riff's gonna be for this chord, second fret, A string, open A string. Move to the D string, pluck that open, and hammer on second fret D and then pluck the open G. So you've got. That's your riff for the A chord. Second fret, A, pluck, open A, pluck, open D, pluck, hammer on second fret, open G. Okay, so altogether the bar of A is like this. That's your riff for the A chord. And when you get to the B7, it's the same riff as we just did for the A. So it's just two riffs in the song. You've got the E riff, the one, the one chord, and the A and B7 riffs for the five and the four chord. Okay, and that's there, all your riffs. If you put the piece together, you've got Four bars on the E. Two bars on the A. Two more bars on the E. One bar on the B. Two bars on the E. Okay, so that's four E's, two A's, two E's, one B, one A, and then finish with two E's. For the very last bar of the E, you probably saw me do it in the intro, I did this. And then we went up to here. So the last two bars look like this. So the very last bar, bass, strum, and then I'm going to play the E7 higher up. What I'm doing here, this is all optional by the way, is going up to the ninth fret, barring across the G and B strings with the index finger, and then with middle or ring finger, playing 10th fret on the high E. And then just a few plucks and strums there. So you go. So it's a bit of a jump. You have to practice doing that jump back and forth. All the way up. And that's just another E7. But obviously it adds some flavour and it brings the piece to a close. Or well, the 12 bars to a close, because you can just repeat it over and over and over. And as you get better and better, you can throw in your own licks, riffs, ideas. You can go up and down the scale, throw in different stuff. You can jam it with a friend get them playing the rhythm, what we're playing, and you can add some lead stuff. So you can go into your pentatonic scales. All those sorts of scalic stuff. You know, just simple little ideas, you know, whatever you want, throw random stuff, throw licks you've learned from other people. Okay, so that's Smokehead's Blues. Like I say, it's not really the most original piece in the world, but it's there get people playing blues, playing it quite well, playing it in a fun, 
interesting way quite quickly without a huge amount of effort because fingerstyle blues I, I know when I wanted to start learning it was just everything was really basic and just like over this <laughs> really kind of boring and stuff and that's all right if you're singing but it's nothing exciting there so it's either really basic or really complex where you know you're throwing in chord inversions and all sorts of shapes and different stuff lots of things to think about smokehouse blues is my way of saying thank you to all the blues greats a little bit of a throwback and it's there for students um, to learn and have fun with blues you know just get excited by it because blues is all about just enjoying what's happened before and putting your own spin on it. That's my take on blues, Smokehouse Blues. Hope you have fun with it. I'll see you in a video soon. Thank you very much for watching. If you want some free ebooks and some really cool stuff, head to my website, guitardomination.net. Click on the link at the top, free stuff, because we've got some good free ebooks going on there. Okay, and glad to have you part of it all. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Thank you. Bye bye.